Hey, what's going on, YouTube? And everybody out there, how y'all doing tonight? I just thought that I'd come here and just talk um, about bullying. Um, that's, that's, that's just been the number one thing on my, on my to talk about list. Yeah, this is a ponytail, y'all. So before, I'm going I'm to hide my comments anyway so you people can't come in and say nothing. Um, oh, God. It's so important for people to know that there's outlets here. There's support here. There's so many people that you can reach out to when you are going under a bullying situation. It's never okay for anybody to bully you. Not here on YouTube, not on Facebook, not on Instagram, not in school, not at work, not at home, nowhere. And I find that that is happening every single solitary day of our lives. Someone is is being bullied. Someone is being talked about. Someone is being bothered. And then what they do, they don't know how to respond to it. So what they do, they come and they will take it out on somebody else. So they may go to YouTube and they may have a blast with somebody and their post, I mean, and their channel and their their video, and they don't really mean it. And the only thing that they're calling out for is for help. And sometimes people don't see that. And the reason why people don't see that is because they're so busy worried about how they feel on the inside. So here's a situation that we were faced with. And I know that I probably spoke about this situation in earlier videos. But my daughter was facing a big, big bullying situation at school. This um, When school just be a little bit throughout the year is what I want to say. Don't come in the, the video. And so... What happened was the little girl's, first of all, she had a friend. And it was her best friend for two years. So she ended up making newer friends. And my daughter didn't kind of like those kids because those kids were the type of kids that just did stuff that was very uncomfortable for my daughter. My daughter don't like to cuss. My daughter don't like to go make fun of people. And she definitely don't like to be all fast and talking loud and stuff. But what she do like to do is be very, very calm and reserved and just be, okay, let's be friends. We can play like kids, act like kids, but I don't want to be an adult. I don't want to act like an adult. I don't want to act like I'm grown when I'm really nine years old. And so throughout the whole, whole, whole school year, it was just going on and on. Her friend uh, decided that she didn't want to be her friend anymore. And it was hard for my daughter. It was so hard for my daughter to let that friendship go. It was really hard. She tried to be her, her friend still, and she didn't want to be my daughter's friend. So finally, I just started telling my daughter, you know, it's nothing you can really do about this situation, but just move on. Okay? But I'll see to it that don't nobody bother you. So I complained so much. And then at the end of everything, they decided to move her. The What I had been asking for all throughout the year. But the week before summer vacation, they decided to move her into a different class. And they moved her in that class and everything started to move, work out smooth. But my thing is this, how fair is it that kids, grown-ups, anybody can go around and bully someone and then turn around, go get me some water in my water bucket, and then turn around and live their lives? Like the bully has, the, 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 the person being bullied has to go on, get over it, and stop worrying about it. But the bully don't take, don't get nothing done to them. They have no actions or anything. And I say to myself, when kids are in the problem, in the midst of getting bullied, I think that the person bullying should do some type of counseling, some type of, you know, community service. And I think the adults should pay. Because their parents should be able to tell them before they walk out, you know, be good at school. Treat others how you want to be treated. And that's what I tell my kids every day. When they walk out to school, I say, I say, be good. Treat others how you want to be treated. Do not bully people. Do not talk about anyone. And do not be mean. My daughter, my oldest daughter, tried it once one year, and she um, regretted it because the parent came to the same school. 
because the school didn't do anything about it, they ended up, the parents ended up coming to me. And so I was pissed off and mad. At the same time, I was mad at my daughter because she knew better. But we knew that she was capable of it because she did it here at home. Everything that the, the lady said my daughter did, my daughter does here. I was so pissed off. I was so mad. I said, Dr. Ever. And I went to the teacher and I was like, how long was you going to hold in that these kids had an issue or a problem before you came to me and said anything so I could have nipped it in the bud right away? Oh, the parent wasn't supposed to. They really wasn't supposed to come to you. And I said, whatever. The parent came to me because you guys wasn't doing anything. And the same thing with my other daughter. They didn't, they didn't do anything. So I said, this year when I go in, I'm going to be parent. Okay, my baby boy get dropped off at 8.30. I'm going to go back to the school, make sure everything is okay. And then when he get picked up, I'll walk over there and see how she's doing as well. Because you got to do that. You got to check on your kids. You know, these kids go to school and they come home and they be really, really depressed. They come home and they want to kill themselves. Some do succeed at killing themselves, unfortunately. And then guess what? The bully don't get anything. They get to go back to school and keep on going and, and living their lives. You know, like I said, my, how fair is it that my daughter got to come to school stressed out, worrying, upset, and, and depressed because these kids gave her a hard year. But they can walk around and be happy and laughing and joking. I told one of the mamas and one of the girls, um... One of the girls, she ended up um, apologizing. She wrote a letter to my daughter and apologized, and she apologized to me. And she didn't do anything since, since that occurred. But her mother, but the other girls, no. One said, nope, I'm going to Saturday school. And then the other, school, the other girl, her mom, they couldn't get in contact with her. But I was so pissed off, you know. And I, I just want to reach out to people, you know, to let them know that, you know, there is support systems. Don't ever feel like you are being failed. Don't ever feel like you can't go to no one and say anything because you can't go straight. Like the minute someone bothers you, make you feel uncomfortable, you go to wherever it is that you work at. If you're an adult, you know how to nip that in the butt yourself. But if you're a kid, then you need to go and, and tell an adult. I don't care what it make you look like. You go tell an adult. So that way that they can help you. If they don't help you, then you tell your mama. And if they don't do nothing when your mother in, uh, intervenes, then y'all go to the authority. You know, then you, you just take it a step higher. Every single time that you are trying to be heard, and no one listens, take it a step higher. Because I showed, told them, I said, okay, you guys don't want to do nothing about this problem? Because it seems like these little kids don't care, and neither do you guys. Well, I'm going to the Board of Education, and I'm taking it to the news. They called me back so quick, just like that. Oh, we're moving her. Yeah, y'all y'all supposed to do that before the school year. Even during the school year, I had asked for that. But, yeah, so, um... I know I'm always fixing this shirt. Because I ain't going to be sitting up and letting my, my um, twins hang out like that. It's not appropriate. <laughs> so, yeah. if you, you know, when it's hard. I know it's so hard when you are a kid. It's really, really tough. Like, literally, I think back on my childhood and I say, it was tough going to school. I am all in elementary, I have to go. Middle school, I halfway went. High school, I just thought, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to be there anymore. Because it was a peer pressure. People were horrible in high school. Horrible. But, you know, I'm happy I, I was able to move on from it. But there's just people nowadays who really really had it hard in high school where people bullied them or they were bullied in elementary middle school and high school 
and then it makes them a you know it make not a less of a person. That's what I was trying to say. It makes them feel like they're less of a person. It makes them feel like they're not worth it. They're not worthy. Then they go out and they look for that friendship, and they get the wrong friends. They get the wrong boyfriend or girlfriend, and then boom. You know, they can use, and then they didn't know what was going on, and, and so on and so forth. It's just horrible. I want you guys, let me tell you something right now. I am here, okay? You can reach me at Facebook. It's all in, in, my, all in my profile on my, on my channel. You can reach me at Instagram. At any time, if you feel like something is bothering you, and you can't tell nobody, you come and you say, hey, look, even if you've grown, I don't care. Hey, Miss, Miss Victoria, I just want you to pray for me. Miss Victoria, I just want you to just give me a comforting word because I've been having a bad day today. You know what I'm saying? And I'll help you. I will. I I have. I just really want to help people. I want to talk to people. I want to talk to the, the youth. I want to talk to the adults. I want to talk. Okay? That cause, Like I said, this channel... It's not going to be just about me cooking or what have you or seafood boils or my kids. It's going to be about me literally extending that extra hand out and helping the community, the helping the gay community, helping the lesbians, helping the, the bisexuals, the, the transgenders, all of them. You know, people with cancer, people with AIDS, people with lupus, people with osteoporosis, arthritis. Any disease that you might be dealing with, I am here. I have neurofibromas all over me, all over. They're all over, okay? Long time ago, I used to feel worthless. <laughs> Whatever. I had a big one right here. I still got this one right here. And then I have one, I had one right here. And that was big. And I removed them. And I, you know, I feel like I want to remove a lot more. But at the end of the day, I'm like, whatever, I'm, I'm okay right now with what's, what's going on with me. I understand it because there's people out there that have them like completely covering their face. And that's, that's life for them. Yeah, I'd be in a lot of pain. Yes, I'd be hurting. Yes, I'd be not wanting my, my limbs because they hurt so darn bad. You know, but, you know, but I live, I live through it, you know, and that's why I came here because I was like, you know what, you can help a lot of people. All you got to do is just talk and then open up that, 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 that extra door so people can come in and, and understand where you're coming from. And you can understand them too. And you can be their outlet. You can be the one they come and talk to. I don't leave comments open, guys. Let me tell you why I don't leave comments open. Because it's childish people out here. And there's mean people out here. And I know you guys must say, well, um, um, ignore the mean people. Ignore the rude people. I'm like, no, I'm not going to ignore them. And I'm not going to. I'm going to just go ahead and... Um, and Block the com, disable the comments, and if I disable the comments, it's much better. So then that way I won't have to worry about, you know, when I go and look at certain things. Girl, I mean, I also say girl, well, girl, boy, whoever's looking, they find me, honey. They find me, you know. Like I, I, I did my videos on CJ So Cool, and they went way. They go way back. These kids don't play. They go way back. Then you say you want to do this and that to them. And look, you know, they don't understand the word support yet. They really don't. And I'm so, I, I get so angry when I, when I see certain things um, dealing with kids and who they look up to and like. It's, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to like people. It's okay to look up to someone. You know what I'm saying? But just, uh, it, I wish that people would give them an understanding yeah, you look up to me, but you have to be your own person. You know, it's okay to look up to me. If you want to do what I do, if you want to make money, how I make money, be wise at it. Know what it is that you want and know what it is that you won't take. Because people will run over you and you not even see it. Like these kids just look at certain, look at certain things on the videos and then you you could go on a video and you can disagree and then 
boom, they snap on you. And you then become ugly, you then become a bitch, you then become trash, you then they say shut the up. They do all of that. And you know, I wonder why they do that sometimes. You know, you can never get through to the kids and then you go to their page and they got like maybe 10 or 15 friends or maybe even none. And you don't know what you're talking about. And wasn't you the one that has said such and such on the other video, call me hypocrite and all that. No, that doesn't make me a hypocrite. That makes me an adult. Adult and wise enough to understand that certain things is not to be done on camera. You see what I'm saying? It's not, people don't understand that. People don't understand that some things that you do in your household, you shouldn't do on camera. But they'll learn. They have to grow into an adult like we are. Once they become an adult like we are, then it becomes more understandable. Because when I was younger, I didn't want to hear what an old person had to say either. Although I'm not old. I'm 50. Not 50. Yeah, y'all gonna be like, she really is 50. She just was lying. I'm 42. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here because I'm gonna go over to Facebook and make me a um, makeup video. And I hope to see somebody there, anybody. If you guys have Facebook pages, you know, message me. I'll um, add you or sub to you here. You sub back. All right. You've been talking to Miss V. Ms. Vika, and today this is my whole passage that I have for you guys. And then the end of it, do not allow anybody to tell you what don't look good on you or to tell you that something is not right on you. So if you go out and you buy you an outfit and somebody come to you and say that outfit don't look good on you, but I like your shoes, you say and you tell them, hmm. That's weird. But I find it very funny that you don't like this outfit on me because you wouldn't wear it. But what what's so hard about you saying that outfit looked nice on you? I wish I could wear something like that. That's how I would be. But then again, it says don't. The the Bible does say don't don't say that. Don't say you wish you had something or something like that because it makes it okay. It makes it seem like you might you're jealous of them and you want what they have. Um, it doesn't say that in my words, but, you know, it says that. Um, yeah. Be kind to one another. Don't take nobody's mess. Treat people how you want to be treated. And never, ever, ever let nobody put you down. Because you, yes, you that have took the time, even if you raced through this video and came to this part, you are special. You are special. You are here for a reason. Continue to live your life. Continue to be who you are. Get your good grades in school. Graduate. Try college. Keep you a job. Get you a car. Get you an apartment. And never depend on anybody. Only person you need to depend on in this lifetime is God. And I don't put that off on nobody. I tell people, whoever you pray to out there in the universe, because the one I pray to is God. But you got to put him first before everything. When I was younger, I wish I knew that. Because I didn't. I lived my life the way I wanted to. So if somebody came to me talking about God and being saved, I'd be like, whatever, one day. But now that I am, I'm not a holy ruler. I'm not the one that just say, all right, whatever. Mm -hmm, yeah, you know, you should be this. You should, nope. I'm the one that's like, oh, wow. That's just too bad. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can talk to him. Maybe we could, we could pray for him. Maybe we can do that. We don't have enough of that. We get mad at Jehovah Witnesses for, for knocking at our door. You know, us Christians. But we can't even do the same thing. At least they're spreading the word. We need to help people more. We really do. We really need to help people more. Have a compassion. Anyway, that's it. You guys have a great night. A great morning. And um, 
Uh, I'll probably be back next couple of days. Oh, I'll be back on, I'll be back soon, but I'm going to be going to LA. So I'm going to record my whole trip there. I, I hope to meet somebody. You know what I'm saying? That I'm going to LA. So anyway, you guys have a great night and I will talk to you soon. And remember, keep your head to the sky. Don't let nobody take your joy. All right. Bye. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and like. Nope, I'm going to block those too. So just sub to me. I will sub to you. And um, what else you got to do on my page? That hit the bell. You know, the bell will tell you when I go live or what have you. Some people will think that I'm boring, but some people can use me. You know what I'm saying? You use the hell out of me. That's what it, that's what I want God to do is use the hell out of me. I don't care if I got to sit here and talk to anybody. Use me. If you need anybody to use, you can use me. That's right. Sure can. Y'all have a blessed night.